What's happening guys? Welcome to 3 Minute Thursdays, the day that I do either a review, a rant, a ramble, or maybe even a little bit of a ride out once the bike's ready to rock and roll. Let's get started. So one of the most common things that you'll hear bikers talk about is what gear they use. Now some people are all about using as little gear as possible, they will go out wearing shorts, a t-shirt, trainers. Those people are idiots because they've clearly never had a bad crash. And then you get the people who go all out and spend thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds on the most Gucci gear that they can find. Fine, if that's the sort of thing that you're into, then rock and roll, go for it. Buy a one-piece suit, spend a fortune on a shoe helmet. But I don't know about you, but I don't have that kind of money and I don't have that kind of physique. So I like somewhere in the middle. I like comfortable gear at a reasonable price. And the first bit of gear every biker needs is a helmet. So this is my personal helmet. This is the one that I wore during my crash and this is the one that I will continue to wear when I get the bike back on the road. It is a IXS HX215 Zenum. Made by IXS, I really like their stuff. I'm not being paid to promote them, I just buy a lot of their gear because it's comfortable and it's affordable. This is a budget helmet. Now you can pick up a helmet off eBay or off Amazon for about £40, maybe even less, £30. Don't do that because as a general rule, they are utterly, utterly shit. For me personally, if I had the budget, I would drop a couple of grand on a helmet, but I don't have that kind of money. So what do I do instead? I go with a budget option. However, there's a difference between budget and buying shit. For me, that's where IXS come in. They are a budget brand with high-end features. One of the first things that people notice about the IXS helmets are their finish, especially on the Xenoms. They've got this sort of rubberized matte finish, which I personally love. There's a whole host of colour options. I went with the red and black because I'm predictable. This is a budget helmet. There are no two ways about it. Most places you can pick this up for around £120-£130, however I've recently found it on sale at some places for less than £100, and for a helmet of this standard, that's really good. It's a polycarbonate helmet, which is expected from the price range that we're in. It's got plenty of ventilation on it, so you never get too hot or too cold, it's quite nice. It's got everything you'd expect from a modern helmet, so it's got a full removable visor, the visor has a pinlock system in with it, and it's also got a flip down sun visor inside which is great. I like IXS, I'm not gonna lie, the vast majority of my riding gear is IXS based but that's not to say that it doesn't have its flaws. If you get above 60 mile an hour all of the wind noise will come through and you will notice it so maybe invest in a set of earplugs just to be on the safe side if you value your hearing. I've had a number of helmets over the years and the IXS so far is living up to be the best one I've owned which is high praise even my brother, who's been riding for even longer than I have, who usually wears AGV or Shoei helmets, said that he'd be happy going out in this IXS helmet. Considering he rides superbikes, that's pretty high praise. This easily punches above its weight for the area and is easily, in my opinion, the industry leader on budget helmets right now. But hey, that's just my opinion. If yours differs, if you know a better type of helmet, if you know a better brand of helmet for the same sort of price, leave a comment down below and let me know. If you're liking what you're seeing, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm the Biking Viking, and I'll see you next time. What down there, folks?